Hello fun people, I'm Isaac Carlson, your guide through the wonderful world of Disney, and today I want to discuss why Luca betrayed Alberto and the significance surrounding that moment. And of course, consider subscribing if you're new, and spoilers are ahead. Now the moment when Luca turns his back on Alberto comes when Alberto reveals he's a sea monster to Julia in a big, bold, and dramatic way in hopes of frightening her. And in response, Luca knowingly distances himself from Alberto and pretends like he didn't know that he was a sea monster. Luca acts like there's some Something scary or inherently wrong with their kind. Don't hurt us! See? I knew this would happen. monster! And that destroys Alberto. But why would he do this? Well, from the very beginning of Luca's journey, he stated that he's wanted to see the world. And through his time on land, he was able to not only be introduced to the wonders of gelato, pasta, the Vespa, and the stars, but he was also introduced to the true complexity of his existence through Julia. We're all on a big round rock? Floating around a star in the solar system? In Puerto Rosso, Luca began to see the nuances, wonders, and beauty in life in a way that he had never experienced before, and he feared if his parents ever found him, or if the townspeople learned the truth about who he was, he'd have to give up this new life. From the first moments we were introduced to Luca's family, they were extremely protective over his life and encouraged him to stay out of view from the boats that humans would use over their home, since they were aware that in many cases, fishermen would kill them if they were ever found, which is spot on. Puerto Rosso even had a massive bounty on the head of sea monsters, and while most humans weren't even sure if they really existed, the people who were raised believing in catching, preparing, and eating fish weren't going to be stopped by any creature they found. Of course, knowing all of that, Luca's parents were horrified to discover that Luca had been going to the surface, which led them to consider sending their son to spend some time with his uncle Ugo, who lived in the dark, cold depths of the sea. It wasn't meant to be a punishment per se, it was just supposed to be a way to keep him safe and to ensure they had some level of control over his well-being, but to Luca, it felt like they were trying to keep him from the life he wanted, and that feeling arises again when he starts to argue with Alberto. You see, while Luca and Alberto initially planned to travel across the world in a Vespa, as soon as Luca discovered the existence of a school that could teach him about the world, his dream began to shift shift, and Alberto pushed against that. After a long life of having people like his father leave him, Alberto hated feeling like he had no control over the most important friendship in his life. He felt powerless as Luca questioned what he taught him, summoned the strength to save them from Ercole, listened to the advice of Julia, and reconsidered their future. And as Luca pulled away, Alberto's response was very similar to the one that Luca's mother had when she felt he was slipping away from her. I know you and I know what's best for you. I'm his friend, I know what he needs. They both believed they knew Luca and what would be best for his future. And they were both uncomfortable seeing Luca evolve and take risks that they didn't see as safe. This was just exacerbated too by Alberto's belief that he was being replaced in Luca's life by Julia, since he wanted to go to her school. In a similar way to how Luca's mother was prepared to send him to the bottom of the ocean, Alberto became ready to expose that he was a sea monster in hopes of showing that Julia wouldn't actually be an ally to them when their true selves were revealed. And in response to both of those actions, Luca decides to hide that he's a sea monster in hopes of preserving his new life on land. After feeling frightened, trapped, and without a voice, through his time outside of the sea, Luca was able to become brave and act on all of his curiosities. He had no desire to go back to the bay and hide under the sea, so he tried to lie and attempt to hide the part of himself that he knew people might not like, but of course, he would soon learn that you can never hide who you are forever unless you're willing to sacrifice your happiness, your morals, and your relationships in the process. There's a reason one of the most popular interpretations of Luca is that it's a film that showcases what it can feel like to be a part of the LGBT community. There's a shared experience amongst LGBT people since many of them struggle to come out to the world because they know they could lose opportunities, family, and friends once they show who they truly are. The director of the film, Enrico Casarosa, even stated, we thought a lot about having to show your sea monster as embracing your own difference and as a metaphor for anything. And that resonated with me. Seeing the uncertainty and fear of not being accepted in Luca made me think of being intimidated by the hyper-masculine jocks at my high school, feeling nervous about sharing that I enjoyed Disney when I was a teenager, and honestly being open on YouTube that I'm not a perfect Disney-fied, innocent, or naive person. Whatever your experience, it's hard to be up 
upfront with anyone, but it gets so much harder when you think you could be put down in the process. But even though it's difficult, I think it's worth it to be your true authentic self. Luca had been told his whole life by his mother and Alberto there could be fatal consequences for him if he ever revealed himself to be a sea monster. But preserving that secret had consequences as well. Because Luca hid his true identity, he also refused to defend and protect Alberto, even as Ercole shows up and starts literally throwing deadly spears at him. Hiding your true self hurts you and others too. Yeah, I definitely didn't think Alberto made the right decision on how he presented that he was a sea monster to Julia, and I didn't think it was fair to put Luca in that position. But to some extent, I can also understand why he was so adamant to show Luca the true danger that he would be in if their secret was shared, because their lives were actually in danger. Of all the places for sea monsters to visit, Puerto Rosso? Have you seen this town? My father hunts sea monsters. Plus, I don't think Alberto's wrong approach validates Luca not being by his friend's side when he needed him. Yes, Alberto selfishly exposed their secret to Julia in a way that was meant to push her out of Luca's life, but Luca also selfishly turned on Alberto in the same way Luca always feared the town would go against him. They both were trying to protect their ideal lives, but by doing that, they hurt one another. Fun people, I want you to feel welcomed and free to be yourself in this community, no matter who you are or where you come from. So today, let me know a bit about yourself and where you're from in the world down in the comments or over on my Discord, which you can gain access to by joining our community over on Patreon. Also, make sure to subscribe for more magical discussions. And finally, I hope you have a magical day.